Welcome to the another edition of Arkansas Wild Man Survival. Today, me and Polly Pockets are out foraging for wild mushrooms. And as you can see, this tree at one time had a lot of different kinds, but this is what we're after today. This is the lion's mane. left some of the celium on it these are very good eating I'm gonna leave that one because I think I see another one on a tree over here <coughs> yep there's a nice big old lion's mane. And that one's a little bit older, so it'll be just perfect to harvest. And you see, you leave, always leave some of that celium behind, and they'll come back every year. These are a, these here are a much sought after edible mushroom. Very good mushroom. And, uh, you never know until you get out here foraging and looking for food. You know, the talk is uh, on all YouTube channels now, especially if you're into prepping like I am, is the talk of a major food shortage and famine coming. And talk about the food banks are, uh, are putting out so many meals that they're not going to be able to before long. I mean, right now you got plenty of food on your shelves, and it's the perfect time to be uh, putting some back for hard times because I do believe they're coming. But uh, I was out here uh, forging for some chanterelles, and I come across those beauties. which uh, I kind of like them better than I do chanterelles anyway. Polly, you my mushroom dog? You found mushrooms for daddy? So many jobs are being lost and unemployment checks are bouncing in places. and We're going to see hard times like back during the Depression, I'm afraid. And it's good to be prepared, and I'm doing my best to try to educate people uh, on wild edibles and uh, survival of what's coming. And you never know when power goes out, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, fires, we're seeing all that stuff. And it's best to always be prepared. Now, there's a good edible right there. Some partridge berry. But yeah, I was looking for some gold today. In chanterelles, that is. A lot of these people say, invest in gold and silver. But scripture says one of these days they're going to throw their gold and silver in the streets because it's going to be worthless. That's paraphrasing. Folks, you can't eat gold and silver, but you can uh, you can always use food, water, and shelter. So, while there's food on the shelves now, be smart. Uh, if you're on a tight budget, uh, go to like the Dollar Tree or something, and put some back for hard times. Because I do believe it. Uh, I believe that they always tell you what's coming just to see how many people pay attention and prepare. Like they like a tease about what's coming. But so many people don't pay attention. Now that's a beauty. I don't know what she is, but uh, I figure she's in the Russella or Lactarius family. Get out and learn your land. Learn what's edible. 
because they may come a time when uh, you're going to have to rely on that to feed your families. Learn your butchering skills, your hunting and fishing. And get out and uh, folks that survived millions of years before grocery stores, and the smart ones still do. Of course, some of them nowadays, they think that uh, stuff is raised and the animal rightists think the food's raised right there in the grocery store. Sometimes I think the world would be better off if it did happen and cull some of them. Shame on me for saying that. I don't know when the Matakis come out in Arkansas. I've never harvested them. They should be getting pretty close, I would think. Uh, I know up north in like Michigan and stuff, people's finding them. Uh, the hen of the woods. I've always wanted to try that. A week ago, though, there was chanterelles all over this place. And I might not find a one today. That's how mushrooms are. They might pop up overnight and be gone the next few days. Just, uh, what I've learned about them. But I shall be eating good tonight. Have him with some uh, fried chicken or something. And them there you just saute in butter and fry and, and they're a good mushroom. Of course, always seek expert advice on these mushrooms and wild edibles. But uh, it's something to come in handy to know your wild medicals and wild edibles. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, foraging session with me today. And uh, if you hadn't already, uh, prepare yourself for what's coming because I think it's going to be bad. And I know there's going to be people that uh, ain't going to pay no attention. They always are. But uh, the smart ones will. Because we live in really unsure times. And uh, we need to be ready for anything. It is 2020 after all. <laughs> God bless you, and y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching Arkansas Wild Man Survival. Please like and subscribe and share. And uh, hope this finds you doing well. God bless you, and have a great day.